Hi, in this video we are going to create procedural micro details in Blender. So, let's stick around until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Here I have a creature in the scene. I'll start with Eevee, but I'll switch to Cycles at the end. I explained how to set up Eevee for fantastic quality in the tutorial here. I've set up a simple material for this creature, but I want to solve a problem. When I zoom in, the skin details get reduced. None of the textures look good at close distances. We want to use a technique to add micro details to the skin for the diffuse normal and roughness maps. Let's open the shader editor. I have connected the textures directly, without any extra calculations. All the textures I have are diffuse, normal, roughness and specular. My plan is to add a detail map or noise texture for close distances. This will be added to the all maps, starting with the diffuse or base color. Press Shift A and search for the noise texture. Now adjust the noise settings. First, press Ctrl Shift and click the node to see the preview. I've tried some values before and I'll use those here. The noise type should be set to ridged multifractal. Now let's adjust the other values. Offset is important, we can think of it as a noise intensity. I don't need to change the distortion attribute. Let's check the result at different distances. Great, it adds a lot of details. Let's go back to the shader preview mode. The best way to add it uh, to the base color is by using a mix color node. For the factor input, connect the noise to it. Next, connect the base color to the A input. This process will act like cavity. For the B input, I'll use a dark color. As you can see, some micro details have been added. The white color isn't ideal for our case. The dark color works better for the cavity we created. The idea is that from the far distance the model looks normal, but up close we still see the details. Press Ctrl Shift click on the mix color node to see the preview. It's so good. The current offset value works, but you can adjust it based on your needs. This is closer to the cavity effect. Let's choose a brownish color. This looks better. Let's switch to shader mode. Next is the normal map. At closer distances, the quality of normal map will be reduced. 
We can use the noise node for this. Here I need a mix color node. Change its type to vector. Connect the noise to the vector and the normal map to A. For the B input, I can use the color output of the noise node, but I need to convert it to the normal using the normal map node. Great, now some micro details have been added. Let's compare it with the previous one. This looks great, but I need to reduce the strength a little. If you're not satisfied, you can change the noise method and adjust the attributes. The next change that I need to make is to the roughness. I need a mix node. There is no need to use a mix color. Connect the roughness map to the input. There is no need to connect anything to the B input, just a number will work. Ok, I can see some details, but the surface looks too wet. I need to increase the B number. This is good. Now, in these areas, I have micro roughness as well. For the final steps, let's add micro details for the subsurface scattering and sheen. I explained subsurface scattering in the skin shader tutorial in Blender here. You can watch it. The scale attribute is where I need to connect something. I need a math node with a multiplier operation to control the intensity of the noise, then connect it to the scale input. Note that in Eevee we can't get a very realistic result from subsurface scattering. We'll switch to cycles later. The subsurface effect is applied based on the noise. Sheen will make the result look better, but I need a low value for this effect. Let's reduce the roughness then. For the weight, I need to connect the noise to it. Before that, we need a multiplier operation to control the intensity. This looks better than the previous result when I didn't use Sheen. But I need to lower the roughness further. Ok, this looks very good. Now let's switch to cycles for better quality, especially for the subsurface. As you can see, the scattering effect has better quality in cycles. I explained the technique to add micro details. Feel free to share your experiences in the comments too. 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.